Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back. Today we're going to talk about how to plug an XLR microphone into your PC. So all you really need is a microphone, your audio interface, and you're going to need an XLR cable. Now a lot of people go with USB just because they think it's way easier and the XLR is complicated, but the truth is it's really not any different other than the controls are on the interface instead of the microphone and you're going to get better sound quality 90% of the time when you go with XLR. So let's talk about how to set this up. So the very first thing I'm going to do is grab my interface and I'm going to make sure we turn the knobs down all the way. That way we don't have any gain going to the microphone or anything like that. The next thing we're going to do is take our USB cable, plug it into the back of the interface like so, and then we're going to plug that into the PC. Now your interface should be powered on and ready to go. Again, make sure all the knobs are currently at zero before we plug the microphone in. Next, we are going to take this end of the XLR cable, and we are going to simply plug that into our interface like so. There we go, ba bam, all done. Now we take the other end of the XLR cable and we plug our microphone into there, just like this. And now that everything's 100% plugged in and ready to go, all we do is turn up the gain knob until we're loud enough. For example, this has a little loudness meter. You see right now I'm speaking in the green. Every once in a while when I get loud, it's gonna turn orange, but if you see it turn red, then we know we're a little bit too loud. If you see it turn red, back it off just a little bit and turn it down. Now, if you're using a condenser microphone, you have to press the little 48 volt phantom power button to power the condenser microphone. If you're using a dynamic microphone, you don't have to worry about that. That's really all there is to it. You simply plug the interface into your computer with the USB cable. You plug one end of the XLR cable into the front or the rear of the interface, depending on where the XLR input is. Then you plug the other end of the cable into the microphone. Then you turn up the gain knob and you press the phantom power button if you need to. That's it. It's that simple. But bam we are good to go and... Yeah, our microphone's all set up and ready to rock and roll. Now, one of the best things about buying a name brand interface like Focusrite or SSL or something like that, if you go over to their website, these often come with thousands of dollars worth of free stuff like free EQs, free compressors, free digital audio workstations, free auto-tune, free all kinds of stuff. I mean, even my little $99 Focusrite came with a couple thousand dollars worth of free stuff, which is crazy. So when you buy your interface, go over to that company's website, download any drivers or software for the interface that only takes a couple of seconds to install and then you can look around and see if it comes with a free software package and a lot of these name brand ones do and you get so much stuff it's just unreal but bottom line is it's super easy and super simple to install an audio interface i will add some links to the video's description and the pinned comment to where you can get some really nice audio interfaces from budget to a little more expensive but hey if you're looking for an audio interface check out those links if not that's okay too thanks for watching i really appreciate it don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching my video thanks for watching my video i hate to say but it's time to go maybe you can watch another one that might be really fun thanks for watching my video Thanks for watching my video Thanks for watching you Thanks for watching my video